Hello, welcome to another edition of Beers with the Baron. My name is Chris Drosner. I'm the Beer Baron. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Um, I think we both know that there's not a real beer tie-in to Valentine's Day, but that's not going to prevent us from trying to find one. Um, I took a look at a couple of the love-themed uh, beers that are available on Madison shelves and uh, came away with a couple recommendations and the overwhelming impression that brewers tend to be a uh, somewhat heartbroken and somewhat randy bunch in general. To wit, we have uh, My Bloody Valentine, which is about the most direct Valentine's Day uh, tie-in I could find. Um, this is a beer, uh, an amber, uh, American Amber Ale made by Ale Smith out in California. Um, sounds really nice. Uh, but the tasting notes for it suggest that it pairs well with Jilted Lovers, Reservations for One, and uh, the uh, label art is this bloody, like heart, you know, veiny, bloody heart thing skewered with an arrow. Pretty nasty stuff. Dark, dark. Um, we also have uh, Tyranina's Fatal Attraction, which is a, a relatively new um, Imperial Black IPA that just came out, I think, about a month ago. Uh, I think that one speaks for itself. Um, and then there's good old uh, Lust from uh, St. Francis Brewing uh, in uh, the Milwaukee area. Uh, it's a nice Hefeweizen, um, and that's a brewery that names all, all of its beers after uh, the Seven Deadly Sins, so kind of par for the course there. Of course, you're going to have a Lust. Um, if you're looking for something a little bit more earnest, uh, we have uh, Bell's Smitten, which is a golden rye ale introduced a couple years ago. Um, this year, Bell's uh, did a um, uh, promotion where they uh, let you go online on their website and sign up to have an actual uh, Valentine sent to somebody, um, an actual paper one. You can still do it f with um, e-cards on, uh, on the Bell's website. Um, and of course, they're all um, themed with these uh, smitten, uh, the cute little label artwork and, uh, uh, and branding that they have there. Um, inside is a, uh, a golden rye ale. This is actually one of the oldest, or it's, it's based on one of the oldest uh, brewery, or, um, recipes in the brewery's portfolio. Um, and this is a brewery that goes quite a ways back, so that's saying something. There's a lot of kind of uh, very floral um, notes from hops, but you get an overwhelmingly earthy uh, aroma from the, uh, from the rye there kind of a bready malt back to it as well. And the rye comes through certainly in the flavor as well. Um, it's, there's a kind of a spicy zestiness right up front before it kind of fades into a, a little bit more of a conventional um, American pale ale type profile in the back. Some nice uh, floral kind of um, piney notes in there from the hops. It's a really nice beer. Um, it's a it's something. And, and I mean, look at that label. It's just so cute. The the kind of the you know he loves me, he loves me not type deal uh, played out in the label artwork. I really like it. Um, I think it'd be a nice beer to pour alongside a uh, a romantic Valentine's dinner with your sweetheart. And uh, I'd give uh, Bell Smitten Golden Rye Ale. Uh, Four stars out of five. Cheers, everyone.